Hi, I'm Ann Shea, Indiana University professor Eleanor Ostrom, co-recipient of the 2009 Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences, presented an updated version of her Nobel Prize lecture at the IU Auditorium this afternoon. Ostrom shared the 2009 Prize in Economic Sciences with Oliver Williamson, Emeritus Professor of Economics at the University of California, Berkeley. Ostrom is the first woman to receive the Economics Prize. She said that the lecture today was based on, but not identical to, the Nobel lecture that she presented December 8th in Stockholm, two days before receiving the award. Ostrom and her husband both received the Indiana University Medal today. Tamara DiPolito, the only other Democrat seeking the Senate seat now open due to Evan Bayh's retirement, said earlier today she had collected the signatures needed to appear on the ballot. But hours later, she reversed course, saying she had not collected the signatures but did not need to, since she's the only candidate that has filed papers seeking the Democratic nomination. She says working with attorneys on the fine points of election law to have her candidacy declared valid. County clerks are currently validating the signatures she turned in. She has until noon on Friday to deliver those certified signatures to the Secretary of State's office. DiPolito has said Monday she was about 1,000 signatures short of the 4,500 needed to appear on the ballot. A member of Bloomington Mayor Mark Cruzan's office takes a new leadership position in state government. The Indiana Department of Workforce Development hired Daniel Lopez as the executive director of the Indiana Commission of Hispanic and Latino Affairs. Lopez served as director of legislation and communications for the city of Bloomington. He'll begin his new duties for the Department of Workforce Development March 1st. An Indiana lawmaker continues to push for a bill that would ban smoking in most public places in Indiana. The original proposal by Democratic Representative Charlie Brown of Gary would prohibit lighting up in public spots except casinos and horse racing venues. But the House voted to send the bill to the Senate only after adding significant exemptions for bars, taverns, and tobacco shops. In your forecast for tonight, mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of snow showers, lows around 20. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, highs around 30. For your WTIU News Break, I'm Ann Shea.